to the channel today we'll be going over two crashes helicopters this time one from louisiana yesterday and one from thailand today we're going to look at the fire scene see what the firefighters are doing and then try to find out why these helicopter crashes are so deadly stay tuned all right, so you can see here we're in Louisiana. This helicopter crashed at 12.35 p.m. on December 14th, 2021. No fire is on scene, so if we were coming on scene, you got to look at stopping traffic, make sure everybody's safe, block off this area so no firefighters are injured. You're going to pull hand lines. You can see it was a very foggy morning, which may have played a factor in this crash. There was one death. It was a Bell 407 helicopter, but yeah, you're going to treat this just like a, a car crash or a car fire. So you're going to come on scene and then go ahead and try to find survivors and then put out that fire with your hand lines. Get all up in there and get nice and close. Um, you can see here, uh, police are on scene. They blocked off the traffic. There was uh, the helicopter hit power lines and uh, there was 20,000 customers initially without power. This was in Laplace, uh, Louisiana. So quite a big job now because there is death. You have to worry about NTSB coming in. You have to keep the scene um, evidence preserved. But at the same time, you probably have some of the helicopter that's in the water be beneath that you have to worry about. And then taking care of this um, charred area here. And then also the body recovery. So there's a... Uh, fire on scene and it was this bell 407 helicopter again so it happened at this i-10 uh, bonnie carry spillway bridge you can see this is the section where it goes over the water on i-10 eastbound so a very sad day yesterday, and then today, another sad day, we have a helicopter, army helicopter in Thailand, where both crew members uh, sadly did not make it. Uh, a, a trend with helicopters, you know, they're not like aircraft where they can kind of glide it in if they need to. It seems to be helicopters, when things go wrong, they just fall out of the sky, and uh, it's pretty rough. So here, fires on scene in Thailand. They got some spaghetti going with their their lines, so you don't want to charge it with it all twisted up like that. So they're going to take the time to unravel it before sending water because if you sent water, it would cause a lot of kinks in the hose. So they're going to straighten that out. And then, you know, they're gonna, the firefighters are going to call for water. You can see here they want to be pretty quick about it. It is impinging on a house or very close to this house. And then it is in some brush as well. You're going to look for survivors. Um, the backup man is the guy pulling the hose. So the guy in behind and even some of these other guys should be kind of helping. You want to do all the work. So you see how the guy in front, he's kind of doing a lot of work. He's getting pushed around a little bit. So you want to everybody help out. So the guy in the front, all he has to worry about is aiming and shooting the water on the target. He's not pulling hose at all. That's what the nozzle man's job is. So everybody else needs to be helping with that hose line. We all stay on the same side, whatever the nozzle man side. So he's on the right side. Everybody else should be on the right side so that you're not um, fighting against each other. And if you have turns and things like that, everybody's on the same side of the, same side of the hose. And then you're going to look at, at moving forward with this hose and getting close to the seat of the fire. Um, you can see they're not really wearing much protective equipment, but luckily they are in the outdoors. So it is a lot safer when fire is outside versus in a house where, you know, the smoke doesn't have anywhere to escape. So you can see they're doing a good job moving forward here. Again, there was two deaths on this army helicopter in Thailand. Um, now you can see that conversion. When you see this white smoke, it's a good thing. It means that the water that they're putting on the fire is um, is successful. It's doing its job, and the fire is going to be out because you get that conversion when all that water hits and conver um, converts to steam. So very sad that those didn't make it from this scenes today. All we can do is try to learn from these crashes and hope that these types of things don't happen in the future. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.